The VIA is your remote box. You don't need much more than just the VIA to do a broadcast. The VIA is our new portable audio codec designed for remote broadcasts. It's a five channel digital audio router, mixer, compressor, IP codec all in one. So with that being said, you can take the VIA anywhere. You can mix your audio remotely and then you can send it right back to the studio in mono or in stereo. So it means they can go out there with less equipment that provides more forms of connectivity with higher levels of reliability and redundancy built into it. The VIA is designed in such a way that it's to be utilized globally. So it will connect over any form of IP connectivity, be it cellular, cellular USB, Wi-Fi, IP, and that's wired IP, that could be satellite IP, be it ISDN, we also have a POTS module. The VIA is very powerful in terms of its redundancies. The very first one is our transportation for IP. We have dual ethernets that we can fail over from one to the next. We have Wi-Fi, we have the USB ports for the air cards. The internal card that's optional, we can fail over to it or vice versa. And then what we can also do is fall back. So if you fail over to the LTE card and you wanna go over a hardwired connection instead, but it was lost, well, we can fail back over to it once it's back up and running. And then of course, if you have POTS or ISDN, we can even fail over to those forms of communication. So if you have, you know, say a, a couple of connections, as an example of Verizon and AT&T, and either one of those networks is not providing sufficient bandwidth for you to do a live broadcast. However, when you combine or aggregate the data throughput of both of those, you're able to do a successful broadcast. That's what this product brings to you. The codecs have been used at English Premier League games, where you've got some, you know, 40, 50,000 people at the venue, and they're doing the broadcast for five hours continuously over 4G LTE without a single audible packet loss to air because they're using our Smart Stream Plus technology, which essentially sends two redundant streams. So this, the audio packets are down both two networks, two pathways, and the codec in the studio multiplexes a perfect audio stream from those two incoming streams. The next form of redundancy we have is a battery. The battery with the AC power port, we can fail over to and from that battery. And it can last for about five and a half to six and a half hours. The touch screen keeps things very simple, easy to navigate, easy to use. It's all right there in that screen. It's got a very good tactile user interface because we've got recognizable pots for increasing your, your headphone volume or, or your input gain. Engineering mode, it's probably my favorite thing about the VIA. So engineering mode or admin mode, allows you to fully control the unit. It's designed in such a way that we have all the technical configuration to be done prior to handing it to the non-technical talent. And then it's able to be switched into a basic user mode. So for the user, they don't have to know much. They don't have to remember IP addresses. They just plug in and away they go. The VIA is highly customizable. You can set it up where you have all your, your parameters put in. So, I mean, the destination, the profile, whether you want to do mono, stereo, dual mono, mono plus IFB or stereo plus IFB. You can have forward air correction, automatic jitter buffer parameters you can configure, failover, the mixer configuration. So if you have specific mix requirements where you want to route certain inputs to outputs or to certain encoders or decoders, you can have customized mixes and you can store these and then recall them when you go to the event. The outputs, we have two program outputs or XLR outputs for line level out, three headphone jacks. We have three XLR inputs. Input one can be analog. It can also support AES-3, which is digital audio. And then it can also support AES-42, which is digital microphones for mode one and two. Inputs two and three are your normal XLR analog inputs. And then we also have three forms of audio inputs for the aux analog audio for line level inputs. We also have SPDIF audio for digital audio in and out. And we also have the USB support. 
we can plug in the VIA to a laptop, whether it's a Windows, Apple, or Linux machine, and they will pick up the drivers, and now the VIA will act as a sound card. So that's why there's no need for extra cables or audio cables to and from the VIA to the laptop. It's all through USB now. The nice thing is when you get the VIA, if you don't have a Tyline Studio unit, it will still work with your existing product. And our support, we will even help you connect to that. So we'll take you that extra step and we'll make sure that you get connected regardless of what you have at the other end. So you'll be able to do everything you need to in the field with just the VIA.